we're going to finalize this debate on what's a stimulator and what's not. Short answer, this fly definitely is not a stimulator. It's simpler and stubbier. Okay, this is not a stimulator. Does it fish like a stimulator? I can't say, but yes. That's a Michael Scott quote, right? All right, so I've got this cool uh, curved shank barbless hook by Arex. It's a 531. It's a really cool hook. I like it because it's still got pl uh, plenty of gap, um, even though it is the the stand like the 200R type type shape. So anyway, this fly might be very offensive to some people who like to spend a lot of time tying stimulators. Make them look real purdy and add like 4,000 pounds of hackle on them. That's not this fly. So what I'm going to do is the, the tails are going to be synthetic. The wings going to be synthetic with some CDC and we're going to add a little bit of hackle. But anyway, the tail's going to be just uh, like some burnt orange Antron. I just want a little hot spot. And I'm going to clip it off about right there. So... That's all our tail is going to be. Now, these are two colors I've been playing with quite a bit. The, the, the Harrop's Professional Dubbing uh, from Trout Hunter in Light Honey and Dark Honey. Now, this stuff, if you haven't played with this, it's awesome dubbing. Uh, it dubs down really fine, but it also gives kind of a mottled appearance. Just look how dirty that is. I mean, there are, there are a few different colors blended into, into one with this fly. So I'm going to use the lighter color, the light honey for the body and I'm going to use the dark honey for the thorax or for the the head. There's no thorax on a dry fly or is there? I don't know. Peter Steen, answer that question for us. Anyway, so I'm just going to build up a, a slight taper as I move this forward. So as you can see, we've got a little bit of a taper there going on. Um, now for the wing on this, it's going to be a dual part wing. I'm going to add some EP trigger point fibers for an under wing, and then I'm going to add a bunch of CDC over the top of that, and that will keep it floating nice and high. So for the EP fibers, I'm actually going to take my thread closer to the eye, and I'll tie those in and wrap that back and that makes an easier kind of ramp to tie the CDC in. We'll measure that about back to where the the tail starts and trim it off. So there you go. That's offensive uh, to the CDC or to the stimulator tires. Two parts. As you can see, no elk hair, deer hair, or other type of ungulate hair of any manner. All right. The next part is going to be this uh, Ultra Select XL Swiss CDC in, does that mean saffron? Saffron. San Fran? The San Fran Cisco Treat? Is this rice No, they No, they misspelled that, I think. But it's a cool color. All right, so I'm going to take two of these fibers. And as you can see, this is long, glorious CDC. And they're all graded in the bag. They're really nice and full. So I'm going to take two of those. If you can't see, that's two of those fibers. Or those two of those feathers. And I'm going to cut those off so that the stems are gone now. Okay. So from here, I'm going to pull all those fibers forward. And I'm going to tie that clump in about right where that stem was cut. Right there, just with a few clumps, or a few tie downs. Alright, so now I still have those two feathers together. And I'm going to do the same thing. So I've trimmed the stems out and I'm going to take the remaining CDC 
and I'm going to put that right on top of the previous wrap or the previous clump of CDC. All right, so with any luck, I don't have any stems in there, and you've got a nice clump of CDC on top of your fly. This is where we'll go back into stimulator land and we're going to tie the rest of the fly just like a normal stimmy. All right, you can use any color hackle you want for this. Here I have a grizzly dyed March Brown high and dry hackle. Um, this is a cool color for this uh, yellowish color combo. But I'm just going to tie that down, add a little bit of dark honey dub now. Okay, so now I'm just going to wrap that dubbing down. I got too much down here. All right, so now we've got the, the head wrapped. Okay, and now I'll just take my hackle And I'll wrap that forward with four or five turns. And trim it off. I'll just pull all those hackle fibers out of the way and create a nice little head on it. All right, I, and I, I mostly wanted a fly that has a lot of buoyant properties that I could hang a, a dropper from. So uh, if you're going to put a dropper on this, you can tie it on a barbed hook um, just so that the, the dropper stays better. But this is going to be a high floating skating dry fly.